Can you give me an example of just a little get the B flat in in, in the people's ears? Yeah, so this is like you know B flat. to explain those uh, those dynamics because that's dynamics that's yes. something that I think uh, I also took a lot from your playing was yes. like that bend almost happened out of nowhere it sort of it nowhere sort of, yeah yeah it, it felt like it just bloomed uh, yeah you know what I mean yeah, yeah 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 like I didn't hear the pick attack right right you do that on purpose yes because I don't play too many notes I decide not to play too many notes. You know, physically, I can't really play too many notes. You know, oh. so and also I study blues and blues, it, not so many notes to play, right? Yes. How you get the attention? Not play anything. <laughs> right. Well. So I just make more space mm -hmm. and I pick softer, like that, so that people, you know, when you talk with somebody, somebody always talk very soft. I go, what? You know, mm -hmm. pay attention, right? The right. same way. Yeah, so it's that's very conversational. Uh, conversational, mm -hmm. right, right, right. And also, I think I came to Berkeley, see many great players from Boston, LA, and New York, mm -hmm. and a lot of great players. I have to make something different from myself. Yeah. So I decided to use more dynamics. So yeah. I was getting to this. This is one of the first things I learned. Yeah, thank you, yeah. <laughs> right, that, walking bass line. That yeah. walking bass line, yeah. because not a lot of guitar players can accompany themselves. Right, right, right. At least, like, when they're learning, at the stage I was at, when you um, come to a music school, yeah. you're, you're maybe playing the pentatonics a right. lot, or, or even if you're shredding, it's yeah. not a lot of concentration on rhythm. Right. What would be, like, your approach to a first semester music student? Where do you tend to begin? I ask a lot of questions, actually. Okay. How to use the amp, how to set up, you know, and mm -hmm. very important. Because basically, you're using electric guitar, amp, and guitar as an electric guitar. Mm -hmm. Once you set wrong, you go all the way wrong. So I have to make sure yeah. enough volume so that's sensitive to touch, right? But also, um, not use any backing track beginning. Uh -huh. Just because once you have a backing track, then you you don't practice rhythm guitar. Right. You're just I mean, practicing yeah. sounding. It, yeah, this is right. really happened. Couple of semester, I really use my loop pedal to teach students about, you know, um, yeah. comping, right? Then I lose a lot of my chops about the time. Mm -hmm. So about maybe a couple of semester ago, one semester, I didn't use a loop mm -hmm. because I lost so much of my time feel ah, from the loop. So I have to really practice with metronome to make sure stay in tempo. Also, if you jam with somebody, you should be able to play. Right. That's Otherwise, important. Yeah, exactly. That's more to me conversational piece. So to me, if you wanna play solo, if you wanna jam with somebody, mm -hmm. first thing you really have to do study rhythm guitar. <laughs> Also, let people know you teach guitar lessons online. Yes, separate from Berkeley. Right. So, can you give the quick like one minute 
Yeah. Well, uh, appeal of that. Which yes. Thing, yeah. People want to learn online. So. Right, right, right. Exactly. I teach a lot of a Skype lesson, but very limited my time. So I right. thought, why not just make, you know, really detailed lessons, each topic that I always talk about, like root 37 triads, like that. Yes. Ended up, I repeat the same thing, right? You know, uh -huh. so I decided, why not just really think about it, write it down, you know, do the great lesson. So that way, everybody can watch again. Mm -hmm. And then more people watch, you know. So I thought, great way to do, reach more people. So that's why I dedicate to that my time to, you know, making my guitar wisdom. Guitar wisdom, and that's yes. what it's called. Yes. So you can find a link down to that. What <clears throat> would you say separates coming to a music college uh, apart from everything else, every other way you could possibly learn guitar? What's different about yeah. being I, here? I, th I think, you know, it's a lot of commitment to move to different town, different country, first of all. Yes. And then once you come here, you see everything you didn't see before. Uh -huh. And then people come from different country, different town. You see the top players. Yeah. So you judge it's a good place, you know, not judging yourself, but it's really high place. Uh -huh. Like John Mayer came to Berkeley. Yeah. First thing he wanted to be a number one guitar player. Halfway, he said, no, I'm, I, don't, I don't think that's a good idea because so many great players. So he de be, decided to become a great singer-songwriter. Yeah. And I recommend to do it. So that even first sem one semester... You two recommended semester, him to do that? Yeah. Oh. I recommend to quit to Berkeley. So you basically invented John Mayer, is that what you're saying? No, not really. <laughs> he did it. But just yeah, a different yeah. help to him. A little yes. bit to shape, shape around. You know? And I would agree. That was um, my biggest takeaway from being here is just the access to so many amazing yes. guitar players, yes. teachers and students, yeah. you know, yeah. it really shapes you yeah. in a way that you never will get if you're not among these people. Right. Yeah. And it's really hard to put into words. You just kind of have to come yeah. here and experience it, even e if it's just for e a semester. E even like, yeah, even semester, or even like, you know, two, three weeks come here in Boston, right, stay Right, there's here. a five-week program or yeah, something like that, Exactly, right? five weeks, you know, in the yeah. summer, yeah. And this right. isn't sponsored by Berkeley. This is just right, happen right, right. happens just, to be where we are. But yeah. going back to, just to wrap yes. up what I learned from you. Thank you. The yeah. root third, seventh. Yes. The importance of triads. Right, right. Um, and and rhythm guitar, too, right? Yeah. Rhythm, yeah. rhythm guitar, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, using a metronome. As Mitchell, right. To, uh, right. You know, because and people Time. should follow you on on Instagram because you like to put on the metronome and just really play less notes, and it actually is a little bit more compelling than mm, maybe you. sometimes when you're playing a ton of notes. Yeah, because it's harder to play slowly, I think, than quick. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to know, you know, how to make a better time, but also, you know. When I was actually when I was playing funk band in Kyoto, mm -hmm. drummer really told me you have no rhythm at all. Oh. That's what he told me. Wow. So that's really hurt my feeling. But yeah. I thought he's very honest, you know. Yeah. So I I took that uh, then all the way. So to this day, I still I don't feel completely satisfied with my rhythm. That's uh. why metronome really helps in keeping time. It's an endless quest. Right. It's just going, but it's good way. Yeah. I still feel in improving, you know. Last thing I want to ask yeah. you. Yeah. Can you give us a lick that every guitar player should learn? Oh. The How's that? Chromatic bending. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Also, I sometimes I suggest no vibrato. Oh, no vibrato. The reason is a lot of people use vibrato, right? Mm -hmm. Bending vibrato should separate. Mm -hmm. You go deeper, you know? Oh, yeah, you have to learn to bend before yeah. you put the vibration on because right. then it'll... So most people do this one. So I go... Remember that, that trick. Oh, yeah. <laughs>